Hi, it's Tony from Atlantic Gymnastics. In the last 26 years since I've been in business, I've been to many graduations, both high school and college. I've watched kids who I've known since they were toddlers go up and receive their diplomas. Graduates of 2020, this is for you. Graduation looks very different today, as does the world that you are graduating into. For so many, this pandemic has heightened and the anxiety already baked into your senior year. It has altered your postgraduate plans and possibly affected job prospects. But it's because of this uncertainty that I believe the essential practices of commencement, reflection, transition, and yes, even celebration are more important than ever. To the class of 2020, I don't pretend to know what it's like to graduate in a moment such as this one, but I found that the following principles have gotten me through the hardest of times, including the one we're all living through today. You must assume and expect positive intent. Many of you finish school with classes going past fail this semester. Some of you have voiced your concern. How will a future employer or how will a professor feel when they see a P rather than an A on your transcript? The answer is they'll understand and most really do not care. After all, they know what you're going through and in all likelihood, they've also benefited from others understanding during these challenging times. This crisis has highlighted the importance of empathy, of patience and trust. In many ways, it has shown that people are far often more compassionate than we might expect. Whether it's something as massive as a global pandemic or as small as a challenging project, I've found that assuming positive intentions is key to not only building relationships, but to learning. When you lose your defensiveness, you open yourselves up to new ways of seeing things. As organizations grapple with how to meet this moment, your new perspective might be just the most valuable asset. You need to stay curious. Though graduation may signify an end, perhaps just a temporary one to your formal education, this crisis has demonstrated the many ways in which learning can extend beyond the physical classroom. I found that I make a pretty good sourdough bread. But it also reinforces what has long been true. The best innovations happen when we work across fields, sectors, and disciplines. Your major won't necessarily determine your employment, nor will it define your value as an employee. I have a degree in history and psychology. I am basically qualified to be an Uber driver or a barista at Starbucks, but I find myself coaching gymnastics throughout the world and running some very successful businesses. The most successful graduates will be the ones who remain curious, creative, collaborative, and able to think critically about the world around them. So continue to learn, keep doing your homework, keep listening to your peers and to those above you, to those who agree with you and those who have a different perspective, and keep raising your hand and asking those hard questions. Reach out to your communities to see how you can help those in greatest need. Lending a hand or even just lending an ear is perhaps the most valuable opportunity for all. Choose your words with care. In a moment when written communication is more important than ever, choose your words with care, whether you're crafting an informal email or a widely circulated memo, a social media update or a cover letter Take your time writing it. Read over your work twice, then walk away for a few minutes. And when you come back, read it again. Yes, speed is important, but those extra few minutes you spend calling and clarifying can help you avoid miscommunication, saving you precious time in the long run. Be kind. Kindness certainly has gained currency in this century, and that's a great thing. It's equally popular among college professors, CEOs, creative types, gymnastics coaches, and Mother Teresa. So if you're going to put yourself out there, err in the direction of kindness. Balance. A lesson of this pandemic is that we must find balance. You must continue to ask yourself, how can I balance my social life and my school life? 
How can I balance my career with my family? Because one without the other is a wasted existence. You must dream. The most unrealistic person in the world is the cynic, not the dreamer. Dream, set that bar high, chart your path. You are going to make some mistakes, but pick yourself up and keep going. You need to remember what's really important. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, this crisis has crystallized my belief that family and health must come first, always. When the virus begins to subside, as it will, it may become more difficult to keep this belief front and center. And as you take on more responsibility, it may be harder to put it into practice. Still, whatever it takes and wherever it takes you, prioritize your family and friends, professors and coaches who got you to this moment. The people cheering from a distance as you get your diploma, counting down the days until they can give you a congratulatory hug. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you the best of luck. And when you're in college, don't order pizza with pineapple.